Thank you, House Chair. House Chair, the ACDP believes that if the country needed any further wake-up call, it was yesterday's announcement that the South African economy has shrunk by 0.6% in the third quarter. Now that outcome, which is far worse than markets expected, is likely to raise fears that the country may manage only marginal growth this year, if any growth at all. And that is against Treasury's forecast of a 1.5% growth in February's budget. Now the medium-term budget statement highlights that the country is trapped in a vicious cycle of weak growth and mounting debt. That the Minister acknowledges and the Committee acknowledges this. There's a two-pronged challenge facing the nation, and that is reinstating fiscal credibility whilst restoring economic growth. And both of these issues will require hard and unpopular decisions. Government has been pumping billions of rands into poorly performing SOCs, and this has resulted in a widening budget deficit of 5.9% of GDP. Now, the national debt, as other speakers have indicated, is greatly concerning. Three trillion rand set to increase by 50% to 4.5 trillion in the medium term. This results in higher debt service costs, which in turn crowds out the much needed social spending on health, education and security. Now the recent crisis at the South African Airways should have served as the proverbial canary in the cold mine. And the call for collective responsibility to save the airways not only beggars belief, but is ludicrous, given the mismanagement, corruption and cater deployment that South African Airways and other state-owned companies have been subjected to. Thankfully, Treasury has attempted to hold the line, but the political pressure intensifies. Now, as growth continues to come in below projections, how do you balance the books? A 150 billion rand cut in expenditure is required to place the country on a fiscal sustainable path. And obviously, that's where hard decisions come in. Cuts will be required on the unsustainable wage bill. As these cuts will be difficult and unpalatable, the only alternative is then again to stimulate economic growth. But this in itself is very difficult. The one ray of hope lies in National Treasury's economic growth document. Those aspects there, Minister, that can be implemented should be ministered, and well done on those aspects that have been implemented. To conclude, there are some positives, but hard decisions are necessary. The fiscal cliff awaits those that continue to kick the can down the road. Hard decisions are necessary. We need good stewardship. We need servant leadership. This the country is requiring at this stage, and we trust that those decisions will be made without any further delay. I thank you. Thank you, Honourable Member.